Hello to you. It is Tuesday, March 13th, and welcome to What's Up Weekly. Hi Pastor there. Brian, it's good to have you back. It's good to be back. How about man? that? Yeah. All things youth, family, and children's ministry here at Southgate, and we want to start off by celebrating the National Day of Opening an Umbrella Inside. That's right. How about that? Are you brave enough to do that? Of course I am. Inside yeah. a house, inside a car. Are you superstitious? No, That's, I'm not. Yeah, me either. No. You know, I, I believe in the sovereignty of God. As we should. Put your theology to the test. Exactly. That's right. Go ahead and open an umbrella inside. Dispel all of that superstitious mumbo jumbo yep. nonsense. Do it. See what the smallest area you could open an umbrella in. That's right. And be crammed in there. I think that'd be fun that'd to watch. That'd be fun. Just don't put it out. Don't put out somebody's eye. Wow. True. Yeah, safety first. Hey, uh, so last week's episode was fantastic. So it was like the HTT version of What's Up Weekly. You guys surprised us, uh, mm-hmm. surprised me and my dad on the job site. Yep. Hey, we're going to put in a picture right now of the update of our progress. And yep. so we're probably about 35 to 40% done. Uh, we, we're two rafters shy of the framing pro- uh, process. Uh, hey, if you've got any building materials sitting around that are going unused, hey, I can use them. Seriously. So, uh, trying to keep those costs Shameless low. plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> Send those my way. All right. Great. Hey, uh, we're working on an episode, an upcoming episode. It, it's a resource week. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do you want to say about that? So we did one back in the fall. We want to do another edition, but especially focused towards media. That's right. So if there's some sort of media resource that's been especially beneficial to your family, mm-hmm. either gospel-centered or just helpful and beneficial just in the home. Exactly. Right. A TV show, series, especially right now, media. Yep. Pass that along to us. We'd like to highlight that on our next show. We already know about the VBS CDs that are still playing in your car. <laughs> but other than that, we're looking for other media That's resources. great. That's great. Okay. So, we do want to bring back our ballistic logistics bump segment. Bump. The pressure is on. We both get long-winded from time to time. That's okay. <laughs> we're pastors. It's part of the deal. Okay. So, Pastor Brian, you're going to have 30 seconds okay. to give your logistics. Sounds good. And the time starts now. Three bullet points. The very first one is that VBS is coming up June 3rd through the 8th. We're recruiting volunteers right now. And so if you're interested in being part of our VBS team, contact Libby, Aker, or myself. On April the 8th, $100 $100 deposits due for every person who's going on the family wilderness trip. More details to follow on our Facebook, excuse me, on our website and the bulletin. Number three, um, parenting class. It's not too late to join us. Be there, B Square Room 210211. Got you at 30.91. Dang gone. That close. <sighs> I, that, it was a stumble there. You know, I, I said church Facebook Got page. Got caught up on your... Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, that's all right. Okay, all right. Here we go. We do want to let you know, you parents... Oh, hold, oh, on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold okay, on. Just okay. wait. Pick ready? up the trigger and I freaked ready, out. Ready, set, go. This Wednesday night is our student ministry's laser tag. That's for students 6th through 12th grade who have registered already on our church website. So if you come at 6.30, there'll be nobody here. We're leaving at 5. We'll be back by 8.10, and we look forward to that. Um, Second, our new D group study is called Why the Church Matters, Mm -hmm. helping our students understand the importance of church. $5 for the book due next Sunday. And our April event's coming up soon. Stay tuned for an email about that fun time. 24 seconds. Nice job, man. Short. And sweet. Yeah, well done. Well we done. Do. Okay, uh, so that takes us into the all important family discipleship tip of the week segment. And what we want to do for the family discipleship tip of the week is kind of give a, a recap of what happened this weekend. And some of you are like, uh, what happened did this I weekend? Miss something? Yeah, and, and you did if you didn't go with us. We had about six couples from Southgate go over to Columbus for the. Um, uh, Family Life Today Weekend to Remember Marriage Enrichment Conference. Wow. And uh, we stayed in uh, the hotel there in Dublin, had a fantastic time. Uh, the content of the conference was incredible. Mm-hmm. And there were a couple of things that came out of the conference that we just want to highlight. A couple of things that are kind of pressing in on my heart mm-hmm. that, you know, I, I need to maybe up my game a little bit. And uh, a few times during the course of the conference, conference speakers would challenge couples to think about writing out a marriage uh, missions statement. You're like, missions? Is that like uh, the Great Commission? No, no, no. no. Evangelism. Oh. Yeah, evangelism. Nope. No, it's, it's, okay. that's not what we're talking about. It's, it's what it is that you want your marriage to be. Hmm. What's the ideal goal? And is there a, a mission statement that, the, that you and your spouse could, could work toward that kind of keeps the both of you 
pressing on toward that goal. Mm. And so in the description box below, we've provided a link that might be helpful for you um, to work with your spouse in writing out a mission statement. That's great. There's also another link in writing out a family mission statement. And this mm. is pretty cool too. You bring your kids into the room and you, you kind of call a family meeting and say, hey, okay, we're gonna come up with a family mission statement. So uh, can I just close this segment of out? Of course. If you've written a family mission statement or a marriage mission statement, would you let us know here yeah. at What's Up Weekly? We love to hear uh, what you've come up with, and we'd like to highlight that in, a, in an upcoming show. Yeah. All Very right. good. Thank All you. Right. Take us home, brother. We take us home into the game, one of my personal favorites, because I feel like I always have an advantage you in this You do, game. because I'm a, I'm a moron. This is called Two Truths and a Not a Truth. Because lying is a sin. As it relates to opening an umbrella inside. And the one not a truth is the answer. That's Correct. what I've got to drill into Correct. my head here. It's not, not the, okay. Pick right. the not a truth. The not a truth. The not a truth. Getting so a little the, excited here. The um, first list of truths or not, not a, a truth. truth says slang words for umbrella include brawly, bumper shoot, and blimper. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea. This is a shot in the dark. C, blimper. A, brawly. And it's C, C. blimper. All right. Man. And your dominance continues. Uh, number two says, the following famous characters traditionally carried an umbrella. A, Willy Wonka, B, Mary Poppins, or C, the penguin. Not a truth. A, Willy, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. All right, we both well got that done, right. Well done, Brian. All right, so I'm still down by one. Consider the following rules concerning umbrellas. A, TSA allows umbrellas and carry-on bags. B, Alabama forbids opening umbrellas on the street. Or C, umbrellas may not be manufactured at lengths over 80 inches. Hmm, the not a truth. The not a truth. Not a truth. It's not true. Uh, um, the whole bit about umbrellas may not be manufactured at lengths over 80 inches. That's pretty tall. That's long, yeah. but I said that that's not a truth. I said I that mean, as well. Who would, oh, really? Great job. So you win. Three for three. Again. Again. The lead grows, grows. the deficit grows. We'll see you next week on What's Up Weekly. <laughs>